Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Marketing Crap and today I'm going to be talking about the two keys to website success. Welcome back. Underneath it all, websites need to do two things. They need to get found and they need to convert. Now here's the thing, most businesses focus on one and not the other. They're either obsessed with SEO, search engine optimization, or they're obsessed with their website copy. Now if it's SEO, they're doing Google searches all the time, they're obsessing where their competitors feature in the rankings, they click on competitors' Google ads to cost some money, you know, you probably know the sort of person. Now many don't even realize they need to be doing incognito Google searches, i.e. showing virgin search results, not search results that Google will skew according to what they've previously searched for. Now, if it's their website copy they're obsessed with, they're forever changing text, they're moving pages around, they're fiddling all the live long day. And again, you have to look at traffic and conversion. Focusing on one is just half the battle. I mean, what good is an awesome website with bugger all traffic? And what good is loads of traffic if none of it comes to anything? You want both, right? So if we look at them, if we look at SEO first, this will take time and money. A new website is like a new car. If you don't look after it and you don't spend on it, it will start underperforming. That's the reality. It ain't gonna happen by magic. This is why at Codebreak, we've invested in an awesome SEO tool for our clients, software that speaks in plain English, not technobabble, and it tells a client where their website's strengths and weaknesses are. Then they know what to address and how. So this eliminates guesswork or listening to bad advice from cousin Steve who does a bit of web design. Now, if you'd like a free SEO audit, drop a line to hello at codebreak.co.uk and we'll send you the link. Happy to do that. But you want to look at your website copy and do that first. Because if a website's underperforming, some business owners think the cure is getting more people to it. No, no, no. Copy first, traffic second. I've seen too many businesses spend lots of money on pay-per-click when the websites they're driving people to simply aren't up to scratch, so it's money down the drain. Now here's the main question with copy. What is the number one thing you want people to do when they get to your website? Is it buy something? Sign up to a newsletter? Send an email inquiry? All signs should point towards this one thing. Keep it super simple. Confusion leads to indecision, which leads to the dark side. Uh, you know, I mean, no sale. So remember that most people will be viewing on a mobile. So make the copy clean, make it punchy, no huge sentences and paragraphs that will send both the reader and Google to sleep. Keep the page count down too. The days of war and peace websites are long gone. And the best copywriting tip I can give you is, what is your target audience's pain and how do you solve it for them? More of that, less of the, we've been established since 1857 rubbish. What's in it for me? That's all your website visitors will be thinking. And this is so important. Your website has to look cool, but it is the words that will make people more likely to do what you want them to do. Which is why we include copywriting in our web design quotes. Facts tell, but stories sell. So if your website isn't doing what you want it to do, I urge you to look at both of these things, traffic and conversion. As ever, get in touch if you'd like professional marketing assistance. I'm as old as I look, but not as thick as I look. I'll see you soon.